Today, I want to show you how to attach an ebook to an email list so that you can create an opt in or a freebie or a lead magnet or whatever you want to call it to grow your list. So, this is a technical video about how to actually attach the file into the email list sign up form, and I'll be using MailChimp. So, this is for you. If you have an ebook, and you have MailChimp, and you want to get it to people so people can join your list. Today is your day. And like a lot of my tech tutorials, I'm gonna warn you, go and get a drink of water, go to the toilet, maybe take some, no, drink some mellow herbal tea or something that's just gonna calm you down, do some breathing, and remember to pause me because I'm gonna be thundering through this to make a short video uh, and it's gonna freak you out if you're just watching this for fun. This is not for fun. This is so you can learn how to get an opt-in going. And yeah, if you don't actually do it along with me, you're just probably gonna get freaked out and get tech overwhelm, or maybe you'll just laugh at me being a dick, and that would be fine. But it would be great if you actually want to do this, that you remember to use pause, chill the heck out, I'm about to screen share and stop my rant. Um, just take it easy. Remember to do it along with me. It makes it heaps easier. Oh, here I am doing a million things in YouTube. It's my big content creation day. So step one, get into your MailChimp. Jump on in. Then, if you haven't done a lot, don't worry. This is I'm going to walk you through the whole thing of making the opt-in and attaching your ebook. So click lists. And then here you go. You might not have any lists here. You might have this little window that says you don't have any lists. Just click the, click the create list button. And if you already have, see, I use a different list for every single little thing I do. And then I kind of funnel everybody over into my big list, which, you know, you can totally do that. So click create list. Don't worry about this too much. Just click create list. Then it's going to ask you some questions. It's going to ask you the list name. Now, this is going to be displayed to users. So, you know, you don't want to say the way I get people to give me their email or anything like that. Like, you want to call it like free ebook or six ways to blah, 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 or how to create an opt in, blah, blah, blah. So, um, I'm just going to call it new opt in because I'm actually going to delete this when I'm finished. And then you want to put your email address. Now, MailChimp doesn't really like it so much if you have a Gmail account. If you do and there's nothing you can do about it, well, then just roll with that. Um, and your default from name. The short reminder about how people joined your list. I would say something about get ready to get your free um, blah, blah, blah. Get ready to see the free ebook or something like that, okay? or you're about to find out my six ways to blah, 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 or whatever it is. Now this is the contact information and these notifications, you can get a daily summary, a one by one summary. Um, yeah, I usually choose a daily summary and then click save. I don't need a one by one summary. That would be just too exciting. Okay, this is a new list. It looks like this because I don't have any subscribers yet. And that's fine. Don't worry about any of that. Now we're going to go over to sign up forms. Click sign up forms. We're just going to choose a general form. Don't worry about what any of this stuff means. Just go with me. Okay. So at the moment, if, if you give someone this link here, that will allow them to sign up for your free thing. So if you're going to share this on your Facebook page or on your personal profile or in a Facebook group or something, that is the link that you need to, to get people to sign up and then they're going to get the ebook. So when you make your list, cut and paste this URL and put it somewhere. I keep mine in Evernote because that's like my place where I find things. And the other thing I do is I create a bit.ly, but that is another video, okay? This URL is important. Stash it somewhere, remember it. If you forget it, you can always get back to it by clicking lists, sign up forms, general forms, and you come back to this page. Now, if someone clicks this link, at the moment, this is what they're gonna see. It's kind of boring, it's kind of ugly, in my opinion. I reckon the best thing to do if you are going to have a freebie is have an ebook, right? Then whatever the graphic or image is on the cover of your ebook, I make another Canva image. 
you don't know much about Canva, check out some other tutorials. So make a Canva image and make it either the same as the cover of the ebook or something similar that people are going to recognize. So when they sign up for this, they put their email details in. And then when they go over to their email, they're going to get some weird robot email from MailChimp. But if you put an image in here, it's going to just let them know, oh, that's that ebook I signed up for, right? So it's just to help people to visually associate with the product. Also, if you have branding, it helps people to make a connection like, oh, this is for that woman doing that cool thing that I love. So I highly recommend editing this. And also it's a bit robotic. It doesn't really tell anybody like what they're going to get. So I would actually write a bunch of stuff like, are you ready to um, change your life, feel amazing, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then I would say I am going to share, mm, don't worry about my spelling, my da -de da -de da 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 um, Please fill in your, oh, my gosh, in details below to get access to the free ebook. Awesome. And then I usually also like to say something about this is going to add you to my email list. I really hate spam and I'm not going to spam you, blah, blah, blah. The other thing I would do is I would cop, like highlight all that and then I would make it a specific font, this really limited choice. I personally love Korean U. And I would make it bigger. So at 16 is my favorite. 18, 16 is a good size. So change the size up. And I also insert an image. So I like to put my image at the top here. And so you just click that little picture and then boop, 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 you can upload something. Um, I say this is one I already have for my ebook. Let's just use this. Now, the thing with this is there's something you need to know about the dimensions, right? If you want this to be optimized for desk, desktop and look most beautiful and visually appealing and everything, then the width of your image should be 550. And when you, and when you type in the width field, if you just click tab, it will automatically, <coughs> excuse me, keep the proportions of your image. If you want it to be optimized for mobile so that the image is completely displayed on a mobile phone, it needs to be 320 wide. So I honestly, I think mobile is taking over and I would probably optimize to mobile because I just think that's smart. Only thing is it kind of looks a bit small on a desktop, but you know, people still get the gist of it. So there we go. That is that one. But the trick is, you have to do that a couple more times. It's not enough just to have it on that initial sign-up form. The sign-up form with alerts will have the image, but then the sign-up thank you page doesn't have the image. So, well, sorry, I have a little sneeze. What you need to do is, again, click in edit. I just pop it in above there, and I just click again the image. Choose the image again. We'll have to change the proportions again. It's a little bit time consuming, but what you get is a very, very attractive, um, a very attractive opt-in. And more than attractive, what you get is an opt-in that is helping build your brand and helping people to recognize you and start to build a visual association with you that in most cases is super helpful because not everybody is just a thinky person. A lot of people also need that visual trigger. So it's really important to be getting people visually familiar with your brand and your work. So we're up to the sign up thank you page. I do it for all of them. So even though it's a little time consuming, I go through and I edit all of these. So I click that again, same process. It's a little bit boring right now. Now's the time for sipping tea or join in with me and just be working on your thing, on your opt-in. We're almost at the glory land, right? Where we are going to insert the ebook. 
So actually for the opt-in capture, I don't really bother because it's just one small process. Now, this is the big, big kuna, the confirmation thank you page, right? This is where you're going to attach the ebook. So again, I put in my image because I think that's really important. I think I've said that enough times how important I think that is. You'll probably stick with it now. Dimensions. Okay. Then another thing I like to do is actually edit this robot talk, our list. It's me. It's me in my lounge room, okay? This is not an hour. This is a me. <laughs> so I like to edit this just so it's more me. I also, like I said, I like Courier. If there's any font here that you like more than the generic one, I would really recommend um, choosing one and sticking to it through all of your messaging because consistency is really great. Um, beer, beer, beer. And so, yeah, yeah. I think I would squeeze it in here and I would say something like now it's time for you to like change your life or really make action on your marketing or whatever your words are to describe what people are going to do. Now it's time to change your marketing approach and have, um, and have more time to ne -ne -ne. Um, and then I do something like click here, click here to access, oh my gosh, the spelling, the ebook. And again, I want that font to be more cohesive with the rest of the document. Um, and then, okay, so here's the bit, the golden moment. You highlight the click here and then you click link. Now there's this little part of MailChimp that no one really notices unless it's pointed out to them, even me, right? This web address is not the only option for what you can link to. You can link to an email address, an anchor link or a file. We want to link to a file. Now when you click this, it will open it and we'll go, okay, what do you, which file, right? And, oh, it's not, no, don't do that. Okay. Um, so what we need to do is find a file. Now, if you have a, something here already, like you've already got an, a PDF in here, that's the ebook, that's great. But all you have to do is just click upload and then you go, you've got your PDF somewhere. This is someone else's PDF, but I'm just going to use this for pretendsies. And it looks a bit different. Okay. It's got this icon because it's a PDF. And it's loading. Do, 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 do. So I recommend when you're doing this, you just keep your PDF on the desktop or somewhere easy. Now, what it's done is it's uploaded that PDF and it's now being hosted by MailChimp. So it, it has a MailChimp URL you can see here um, and you insert that and then you just click save and close. And now when someone signs up and they get this in their email and they click, click here, they're going to get the ebook and that's all there is to it. I think I should stop there, but as a little aside, if you want to share a video, you can just put click here and then have the web file of an unlisted YouTube video. Or if you have an audio file, like you have an MP4, you can upload it and attach it just the same as an ebook. So this would be great for an ebook or for a guided meditation or visualization or something, any kind of audio recording. You can have both. You can do it in that you can share things with people in just the way I showed you by highlighting some text and adding a link, or you could link an image. So I'll just show you how to do that as well. Cause now I'm getting crazy. So in here, when you click on the image, you could also link the image, right? To a file and see now that's already there that I uploaded last time and you could link it there as well. So that means someone could click the image or they could click on the click here and that will give them access to the ebook. Isn't that fab? Freaking love that. So hopefully this hasn't been too long. 
and you've stayed calm and now you're ready to make your opt-in happen. And I hope that you have a glorious day. I hope this was helpful. If you like this, you can like it by clicking the like button. If you want to see more videos like this from me, you can subscribe and that way you get a notification next time. Or you can stalk me out. All the information's in the description down below. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Mwah.